Halo teman-teman, sebangsa tanah dan sebangsa air. Kita ketemu lagi di Vein Bermain. For me personally, mixed reality capture still the best way to get others to feel what VR user or player felt when they deep dive inside virtual world. So that's why lots of my contents are on mixed reality capture format. But that's not easy anymore since Femwire update version 15, lots of meta quest users who share the same interest as I do on mixed reality capture contents feel a bit upset. Cause by their own meta mixed reality capture tools unable to send the mrc.xml file into the headset itself after the calibration taken place. Yes, the headset denied the permission to write this xml file into game folder. So this is what you need to have. MRC tools version 5.1.2 As it said, it's in changelog that this version fixed a bug which prevented the calibration from saving the app folder in headsets. Download it and install. Then you need to download and install the MRC camera calibration app on Quest. Run the app. This is what you will find inside the app. An IP address of your quest and current connection status where it said not connected. Now you need to load the MRC tools on your PC. On select Oculus device, there will be three devices. This is important. Do not choose Quest 2 even if you are using Quest 2 or maybe Quest 3. Just choose Quest that's in the middle. Click continue. It will search your device. Make sure it's on the same network. On MRC camera calibration, the current status now changed to connected. Make sure it has the same IP address as you saw earlier. Then click calibrate your camera. Choose create new calibration even though you already have one before because the adjustment to the existing calibration menu is completely useless. Select your camera for capturing from the drop down. Do not let your quest into standby mode or sleep mode and you need to put your quest facing the controller. You can either hold it with your other hand or simply put it on your forehead just like what I did. Align your right controller by matching the position of the 10 points of blue icon on the screen. If it is turned to yellow, it means your quest is unable to track the controller. This alignment will be tricky if your monitor is on the other side. Upon completing this step, take both of your controllers so you can see the result of your calibration. If you're not satisfied, you may want to restart the calibration or simply make some adjustment by these sliders. Or you can use a shortcut button so you won't need to scroll all the way down for adjusting. Now stand close to the camera, to the center of your play space, and all the way to the back to test your calibrations. It's a bit off on the left control, I think. Uh, 
uh, well this is much better now click save to local and I'll come to that part in a second install the MRC plugin for OBS if you haven't had it since I have OBS version 29 installed it detect my system and warned me that this plugin only work for OBS version 24 otherwise it is not compatible so you need to download the OBS version 24 even though it said your calibration setting have been saved to your quest trust me it didn't save I've checked so you don't need to waste your time you do still need to manually copy the mrc.xml file to game folder then click generate obs scene for obs you may name as you like and save this file anywhere you want Fire up side quest, then connect your quest to PC. Once it connected, then you want to go to manage file on headset because we want to copy the mrc.xml from calibration step to the game folder. We need to copy it to SD card, Android, data, and application name and folder file. If you don't know the name of your application or game, just go to the 9 box icon like this. It will show all the installed application on your quest. Type app or game name or developer name, then scroll to find it. Now I want to test the MRC on Roll a Mac game. Now as we already know that the name of the developer, back to the Android data tab, scroll it down until you find the game folder. Find where the mrc.xml file on your PC, then copy that file to game folder. You can see a much more detail here, I'll put the link on description. Open OBS, I'm using OBS version 24. Select Scene Collection, import it from the OBS scene that you have saved earlier. Select Scene Collection once more, then choose Quest MRC. On Sources, we have three layers for the scene. A foreground, video capture device, and background. Now click video capture device, select your camera, Now we need to chrome keying the green screen back there by go to video capture device on effect filter add chroma key filter then make some adjustment as your preference You may want to add more green screen to the right and left side, otherwise your virtual world will be cut off. You may deactivate foreground if you want to check if your camera working just fine or not. Then put it back on. Now double click the foreground. Make sure it has the same IP address as we saw in MRC tools. Before click connect to MRC enable game, run the game first on your quest.
back to OBS, then click connect. Now I'm on the game world of a roll a Mac. Let's make my floor disappear by cropping it. Oh, that is such a narrow play space. You can't even move freely as your body will be cut. Did you notice that my virtual hand had a delay movement? Let's make it sync well. Now select camera capture device and then on filter add a render delay. Then you can change the number by testing it on the screen. This method may or may not work on some game. Even if on previous version of the game, the MRC was working well. So yes, this is developer dependence. Whether they want to put MRC feature on their game or not. Which is for me that is pretty shame because MRC content will be such a great way to advertise their game from other content creators. Terima kasih sudah menonton sampai selesai. Sampai ketemu di video berikutnya.